Okay, so we're coming into the section on reoccurring decimals. And these are A-grade questions in your GCSE papers. They're usually worth maybe two or three, sometimes even four marks. And they're usually given in a question that will say something like, prove that 0.24 reoccurring is equal to 8 over 33. So in other words, prove that that, 0.24 reoccurring or 0.24242424 and so on is exactly the same as 8 over 33 as a fraction. Okay, and the way to do that is that we need to be in a position where we're going to get rid of this reoccurring part of the statement. So what I mean by that is I'm going to say let n equal 0.24242424 2, 4, and so on. Okay. Now, if there are two reoccurring points, then we need to multiply by 100. If there's 1, we multiply by 10, and if there's 3, we multiply by 1,000. Now, there's two reoccurring there, so I'm going to multiply by 100. So, in other words, 100n equals, and I move the decimal point along two places, or... 24.242424 and so on. Okay, so what I've got now is two values. I've got the, the value of n and I've got the value of 100n. So what I'm going to do is take one away from the other in order to isolate and get rid of this reoccurring part of it. So if I minus n, that equals 0.2424. 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, and so on. Or in other words, if I take those two sides one away from the other, I get 99n at this side, because 100n take away n is 99n. And on this side, I get 24, because 0.242424 and so on reoccurring, take away 0.242424, just cancels each other out. So I get left with a value of 24 and a value of 99n. Well, that's exactly the same as a fraction, because if I divide both sides by 99, then that cancels out one side, and this side, I get 24 over 99. Now, if you look back at some of the other videos, you can then divide top and bottom through by um, 3. So if I divide 24 by 3, that will give me 8. And if I divide 99 by 3, that would give me 33. So therefore, n equals the fraction 8 over 33. So I've proved that 0.24 reoccurring is exactly the same as 8 over 33. Okay, now I've got one more, and this is also a grade A question. And it's also worth probably, I don't know, three, four marks, something like that. Slightly trickier, but it's using exactly the same principles. And the question is, prove that 0.473, with the 73 recurring, is the same as the fraction 469 over 990. Well, that's a little bit trickier, but the same principles apply. Okay, so what I've said is let n equal 0.4737373 and so on recurring. And because there's two recurring points, I'm going to multiply by 100. Or 100n equals, and I'm going to move the decimal place over by two points, 47.3737. Three, seven, and so on. Now I've got two values. I've got n and I've got 100n. So like I did before, I'm going to take one away from the other. So minus n one side, and n here is 0.473737373 and so on. Okay, so what we're left with is this bit, the right hand side, so 737373 three, three recurring can be taken one away from the other in order to cancel it down. So I'm left with this side, 99n as before, and this side, 
I'm left with 47.3 take away 0.4. So those get cancelled out, and 47.3 take away 0.4, which is 46.9. Okay, so I think you can probably see where this is going. I've got a value of 99n, and I've got a value this side of 46.9. So in other words, n equals... 46.9 divided by 99, because I've divided both sides through by 99. But that's really not very good math. So 46.9 divided by 99 is a bit of a clash, because one of them is a fraction, the other is a, is a decimal, so it doesn't look so good. Um, so what I'm going to do, just to tidy it up, is I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 10. Well, if I multiply the top by 10, that becomes 469. And if I multiply the bottom by 10, that becomes 990. So in other words, I've proved that 0.473 with the 73 recurring is the same as 469 over 990. So those are worth, um, as I say, two, three marks, maybe four marks at GCSE A grade questions. So they're well worthwhile doing. And once you get the idea of doing that, they're relatively straightforward each time you do them. Hope that's okay. Good luck. Thank you.